Hello, everyone. Um, Joy and Stella, as Isla said, thank you so much for joining our session. Um, our session is basically on um, how we um, were passionate enough to equip young girls with 21st century digital skills. So this is mostly centered on um, mostly centered on providing them with um, basic um, IC, ITC skills such as they knowing how to maneuver their ways around the computer, they um, learning about research even at that little or young age, they um, getting introduced to the open educational resources so that when they move on to the next stages of life that is into the tertiary institution, they're already equipped in a way to easily integrate into the system and also become outstanding Wikimedians. Okay, so as William Shakespeare said, although an endo she be but little, she is fierce. So our passion was just to get young girls um, to take up the mantle, to, um, you know, inspire them to become leaders in that little age, to push them to do things um, that they were not receiving or activities they were not getting back in school. So um, one of our strategies Next, one of our strategies was to collaborate with um, an institution called the Women Trust, where they provide funding and support for young girls who finish senior high school and are preparing for the um, tertiary education in the universities. So in this session, our goal is to um, inspire you to be bold, to take up campaigns for smaller groups, although it's tough, you can, and then know that they know the needs or interest by researching about young girls, depending on the um, community they are from, the challenges they are um, having. Because this goes way back to um, me growing up, the opportunities I had in a private um, school was quite different from anyone who found him or herself in a government or public institution. They didn't have a lot of extracurricular activities to become you know, well-vested in certain skills. So that was why we, uh, we're passionate to go into the public institutions and then share insights and strategies to adopt, um, throw more light on the importance of partnerships and collaborations, create ambassadors for continuity, and then um, light up, as in like you also pass it on to your respective communities. So I think I've summarized a lot about this, but basically the age groups is from between um, 13 to 21. And then our partners, that is the Women's Trust, the Community Foundation through WikiR Initiative. So WikiR Initiative is an, an ad, ad hoc community or a group. It's not a user group, but just a group that um, based on research realized that there are a lot of people out there who are not interested in joining an affiliate. They just want to contribute wherever they are. And then they will just want to connect with you and say, hey, help us do X, Y, Z in your free time. So that's how come this group came about. And then um, our focus is to empower young girls and then also improve upon um, the skills of the um, hearing impaired or physically impaired individuals. That's another talk for another day. Next. So we realize how important technology is and how powerful it is. So that was why we wanted to use this medium to reach out to these young girls to um, shape their lives in the way it works, communicate, and then how they can learn from it. We can. So the purpose of this initiative, um, basically, to provide them with technical, the technical careers, inspire them to take up such roles when they grow up, and also. It's, we realize that digital skills is kind of a universal toolkit for the academic um, excellence and success across diverse fields and professions. So this also goes back to when um, in university, you realize that no one will teach you how or why you should use Wikipedia. You would have to you know, navigate your way. Myself, for example, I often use Wikipedia because um, I realized that they kind of like summarizes the information. And I was wondering why it was so easy, so like detailed, like like straight to the point for me to use. And like you go online and you search and you see so many information scattered everywhere. So I often use Wikipedia, but I wasn't referencing it because you're not supposed to. 
referenced in that light. So um, we just want to ensure that when the young girls are moving from one stage to the other, they already have this knowledge and they are able to use it effectively when they get to the university. Some of the challenges we encountered, yes, was that, yes, there was a lot of um, lack of basic IT skills, although they would have that in their curriculum that, hey, we, uh, we have the IT, they didn't have it. So as part of the project, what we used to do was to um, teach them the little things they can know about how to navigate their way using the computer, and then um, how to find information online. We know that their age group is quite, you know, uh, small or young, but now children of this age are doing a lot of things with their phones that we, we, we realize that it's important not to limit them, but then try our hands. So this is actually like the second year of the project. And these were some of the challenges that we saw regarding um, the use of the computer. They are good with the phones, but not with the computer. And also um, lack of research skills, knowledge on gender gap and then women history. So it's quite difficult for them to just sit down and find information about that. So we try to provide some of the list. And then through the, the training, we realized that um, they were passionate about using the Wikidata games. So we, um, uh, let them use more of the, the, the personalities to do a little contribution here and there. And then through those games, it gives you further read to the particular article. So it's like, it's more like um, it's linking up, you know, the information to what has been already put on the Wikidata portal through the games. And then we also realized that the uh, limited Wikidata items were created by the girls. So we had to stop um, pushing them to create articles, but then we had to ask them to do more of the, the games, do more of the improvement of text as they can, correction of, um, let's say, errors, just to clean up a bit, yeah, a step at a time. And then they had little education about open data. So we used that opportunity to also inspire them or train them about it. And then also there was gap, there were some gaps on missing photos of women on Wikidata. So I would like to say that we used to encourage them to use the ISAS tool. Unfortunately, this year, <laughs> this year it just like it just died out. <laughs> so to, you know, um get them to contribute. Yeah. Okay, so Stella, okay. And and the importance of the digital skills. So basically to empower them and give them the confidence um to ask to help them access technological resources so basically reaching out to rural groups or um, locations where they don't have access to it because i believe that the moment you just give them a little highlight of what um like a technological resource is it gives them that you know uh good know-how for the next stages. So, and whenever they find themselves in any institution or any training, et cetera, you can easily have them, you know, well integrated into the um, training system. And this is one of the most important things that we look at, inspiration for future generations. Because once we're able to um, equip small group of young girls, they would also pass it on to their fellow colleagues, or the next generation, we don't necessarily have to be there all the time. Okay. <laughs> and then the last one is future proofing of, of careers because the Lightning Talk is quite short and we have other things to talk about. I'll let my colleague continue. Thank you. Yeah, I think we can go to the next slide, please. Yes, so currently we have been able to train at least 87 girls and um, counting and um, we did that like Joyce said earlier on with Women Trust Ghana and then Wiki Women is the group. And then um, we want to say thank you to Alice. She um, was part of the people we called on to assist in doing the, some of the trainings for Wikidata and also Harriet. Harriet was there in person. So we've had like, you know, we call on several people, several women 
rather to inspire them as well yes so um like she said earlier on we also use wikidata games as an instrumental tool to you know aid them to contribute it it was very fascinating to see that they go home and they're like picking their parents phone to continue playing the game so it's it keeps them you know active and also contributing then um like joy said also we provided um, basic ict skills for them we had other friends coming in to teach them how to use the computers you know um and all that and then so at least it helps them expand you know their um their knowledge because seriously you go to the schools they tell you they have ict school uh, ict rooms and there's basically no computer there so it's now you having to bring in computers to train and teach them so and then women women trust actually um sponsors kids that are very brilliant brilliant vanity kids so it was a very good opportunity to work for them as well. So, um, so as they transition into universities, um, they at least have the skills. They know that they can be able to go online, do research, and it's 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 made work easy for them now to be able to do the assignments and other things as well. So, next slide, please. So, um, part of the impact is to be able to create ambassadors so that for um, future generations to come, they are able to pass on this knowledge that they learn from peer peer to peer um, learning as well so the age group which is we looks at from 13 to 21 actually features from junior high senior high schools and then those who are in the first year of university okay so like um in addition to what she said we've been able to add value you know um inf valued information and perspective especially about women so um, with the Wikidata game, they look at personality for women and the work. So we had like a list for them to be able to work with as well. Then we currently have been able to retain at least 20 of them. Um, that's for those who are in the university because they keep coming, sending messages. How do we do this? How do we continue with this? Yes, so that's that. And then also strengthen partnership with gender and youth focused organizations like Women Trust, like I said, and also Wiki Women, Wiki Women's User Group and other Wiki allied groups then we also the impact has been to close you know the gender gap that is what is one of our key focus for and um, wiki our initiatives as well so next so this is the statistics of what it looks like the commons upload they've been able to do themselves the online participation we had 15 girls wiki data items reviewed and all that so for the effort, um, editor, the editors, yes. So this is the, I think that's the total, um, which is this. This is the 2.0, this is what we did last year. This, year. this year, sorry, this is for this year, which has improved from what was done last year and which is what we also intend to continue to do. Next slide, one minute. So this is the total statistics, <laughs> let's continue. And then, so these are the girls. Some of the girls that we did the in persons with, Next. and um, yes, yeah, so these are yes, same girls as well. So that was Harriet. Sorry, it's dark. So and and these are some of the girls from the university. These are the girls from junior high school and senior high schools. This is the one like some <laughs> of the girls in the far right were um, part of the first edition, and they they got chance to enter the university. university. So and they brought them, so that's how the ambassadorial thing came about. Works, yeah. So they were able to also help us organize some of their friends mm -hmm. to, you know, continue. Them. Yeah. So, yeah, our references, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is that we, uh, the one intriguing thing is that the Women Trust organization had some teachers who were already like had knowledge about Wikipedia, surprisingly. So, that was one of the things that helped us. So he was keen on, yeah, saying he was keen on helping the, the the girls to create their accounts because we tried to let them do it beforehand, create their accounts and get their you know details there recorded so they don't forget and all that stuff. And then um also we we have that's um, you know goal of having people involved. So we try to get representatives from different groups, especially women who have that skill to teach, to facilitate. And some of us who uh, are online, we try to also facilitate rather online um, and channel. But one thing I'll say is that 
during the second edition, we realized that um, most of the students, because of their their school um, timetable, uh, timetable. I mean, this year I was blown away. Yes. Yeah. We scheduled it and then we were like, no, we have um, IAs, especially the university. was like, oh my gosh, we didn't think about that. So now that we know, we would make sure that we meet it at uh, the right timing, especially with our school. So we said, I will follow. So with the internet, we actually had backup of backup of backup. So we had like three different networks just to ensure that we do not get stuck whilst doing our sessions here. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Alice, so. Thank you.